Okay, so I just finished editing this video and I feel like it deserves more of an in-depth intro because I really just like hopped into this video without really explaining much, so I'm just gonna do that really quick. But anyways, if you are new, welcome. My name's Macy. I'm a, not a freshman. I'm a sophomore here at TCU, but I'm a transfer student, so honestly, I feel pretty much like a freshman again. But I feel like I'm gonna get some questions about this because I do have a video up about my sorority rush experience from last year where I talk about how I'm not in a sorority. So yes, this is my second time going through sorority recruitment. And honestly, it was such a better experience. Like, I was skeptical of the whole rush thing, and I didn't know if I really wanted to do it, but I was like, okay, I'll just do it to meet people. But I'm so happy that I went through with it and did it because TCU recruitment was just such a better experience overall. Everyone that I met was so genuine and wanted to get to know me and so nice. The whole recruitment process here at TCU was just so organized, and it went so smoothly, and I don't know, they just, like, really have it down to a T. A lot of my friends were like, oh my gosh, like, you're gonna rush in the south but I didn't feel like intimidated or anything like that I was scared going into it but once I got here like I don't know they just have you covered it was just very comforting everyone was so nice and welcoming like I'm just so happy that I didn't let last year's bad experience stop me but yeah if you guys don't know what sorority recruitment is I'm probably speaking a foreign language right now and I'm so sorry well I guess you probably clicked on this for a reason and you probably know what it is but yeah I ended up in a sorority I'm very happy I don't know it's only the first week so I still want to get to know everyone obviously there's like 200 girls can't meet them all and also I just wanted to show you guys the jewelry that I wore throughout this video I wore this literally every single day of recruitment I mentioned it in the video but but I picked this jewelry out from Ana Luisa and they sent it to me and it is literally my new favorite jewelry. All of their jewelry is recycled gold, so it's sustainable, and it's just so cute. Like, I don't know if you guys can tell, but the quality of it is just so good, and you don't have to spend, like, $300. I don't even know how expensive expensive jewelry is, but I know that this is much more affordable jewelry if you are looking for some good quality pieces. I just want to share it with you guys because I'm not that much of a huge jewelry person myself. I'm definitely trying to, like, become one. So these were just really good staples for me to have, and literally everyone complimented them and loved them, so that was super fun. But if you guys want to check out Ana Luisa, I have a code for you guys. I just love saying that. But it's Macy10, and I will leave their website down below for you. I think it's the cutest stuff ever, and that you guys will really like it too. So now you guys can actually watch this video and enjoy it. And if you guys still have questions, I am happy to answer them. So you can leave those down below. Hello, friends, and welcome back. If you guys are new here, welcome. My name is Macy. I feel like that was a lot of hand movement, but I'm excited. I am a sophomore at TCU, but I'm going through sorority recruitment because I transferred. Long story short, I did rush at my old school, but I wasn't in a sorority, so I'm able to go through it again. So that is super exciting. But I thought that I would just vlog the process, show you guys my outfits, some recaps. I'm probably not going to name like sorority names just for privacy and their privacy, and I don't know. But I like watching these videos where you can see what people wear. I just realized that my jewelry is not showing. So that is what we're going to do. The first day, they give us this shirt to wear. It literally just says TCU Panhellenic Recruitment. And then I put on this jewelry from Ana Luisa. These earrings are Ana Luisa. And then both of these necklaces are. This is actually the Margot Lee design, which I've been wanting to get for so long because I just think it's so cute. And then I'm wearing these shorts from, I think, Banana Republic. I'm not sure, my mom found them for me. And then my Nike Air Force Ones. Oh, there's, and then there's my birthmark. But yeah, that is the vibe for the first day. It's like the most casual day. Also, my room's not completely ready yet because I moved in yesterday. So that is the outfit. And then I do have my own room here, but I'm living with four other girls. So I'm gonna have them show you guys their outfits because it might give you guys more ideas. I don't know. This is just like fun to see other people's sorority recruitment outfits. If you guys don't know what sorority recruitment is, I can do an entire video on that because I feel like that'd be really confusing if you did not know. But do you guys want to show your outfits? I'd love to. Really? <laughs> oh my god. My, um... This is my outfit. This is my outfit. Hey, Do we have to explain it? Yeah, hello. Um, okay. You have to wear huge shorts and a t-shirt. And um, this, it's just, this, these are shorts. These are really good. <laughs> the theme here is modest is hottest. Is that it for day sneaks. one? Oh yeah. Sneaks. Everyone has really cool sneakers. Um, here are mine. Wait, I don't know. Like, go get yours on. <laughs> That's day one. We can't have our phones or anything, so we're gonna go now round one. I will update you guys later and maybe explain it more because that might have been confusing, but we have to go. So, all right, rush day two. I'm wearing the same exact thing. So is she. Uh, I thought I'd just show my makeup because it's the same exact thing again. My shirt's not even tucked in yet, but it's these striped shorts and then these Air Force Ones. 
Okay, so the end of round one is done. I'm talking so quiet because as you can tell, I literally don't have a voice left at all. The first round is you go to every single sorority house here. We have 13, so we did half yesterday and half today, and you just get to know them. And honestly, it's usually pretty surface level conversation just to get an idea of who each other are. But honestly, since I transferred and I am a sophomore, I feel like we had a lot more to talk about. Just like being a transfer, it starts a conversation itself, honestly. Like, there's obviously a story behind that. So, in a lot of the houses we talked about that, and I don't know, I just have such a better feeling just so many great well-rounded nice houses here i know that so many people get stressed out about the rush process but i think it's so important to remember that greek letters that you wear do not define you it doesn't make you any better or any less than anyone else i know so many people are afraid of getting dropped by sororities but it doesn't mean anything in the grand scheme of things but i am gonna rest i think my mom's coming over to hang some shelves so i can finish up my room she leaves today i just ate a bunch of popcorners if you guys haven't tried these you're missing out i'm gonna drink some water to heal my voice see my mom i'll see you guys in the morning tomorrow is when we find out which Houses we were invited back to if any houses cut us. I know people are nervous, but just gotta take it with a grain of salt because you will have to end up with one house eventually, and I think that's important to remember. So I'm gonna drink this water and I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. It is day one of round two of Rush. That's kind of confusing, but the first two rounds are both two days long. But basically today is when we see which houses we were invited back to. The first round we got to see every single one, and then we put our bottom three that we did not want to return to. So now today we see which ones invited us back and all that. My voice is kind of coming back, I'm not really sure. But for this round, we're still wearing t-shirts that they gave us. It's a different one, this one's blue. I'm gonna show you it real quick. My room's a little bit messy because I just got ready. And that's what happens, but. So I'm wearing the white TCU Panhellenic shirt that they gave us. I'm still wearing my uh, Ana Luisa jewelry. I literally am obsessed with it. I'm not a huge jewelry person, so I don't know. These just seem really simple, but so cute. So literally perfect for this week. Literally every single person starts off with complimenting my jewelry, which is so fun. And then my, oh, I don't have my earrings in yet. Here they are. These are my earrings that I'm going to wear. They're still the same ones. And then I'm wearing these black loose shorts from Boutique here. And then these blue Steve Madden sandals. A lot of people are wearing these, but I haven't seen this specific color. So those will be a little bit fun. And they also match the blue on the shirt. So that is what we're wearing today. I'm super excited. But I'm going to put my earrings in and then head out. I feel like this vlog has been a little bit chaotic because... Since we have to be ready so early, um, I'm usually kind of frantic getting ready and then I'm like scrambling for my vlog camera. But as you guys know, rush week is like that. It's very, I think chaotic is the word. Very, lots of moving parts, I feel like I've said that. Just trying to up get, update you guys throughout. This video is not like telling you guys my specific rush experience or anything like that it's more just like how i'm feeling my outfits but if you guys do want a video where i give you guys more specifics and what rush is and everything that goes down and my experience in particular then let me know and i'll definitely do that this one's more just laid back vibes to give you guys an idea of what the different days are like and and ideas to wear so yeah that is today's outfit still pretty casual but dressed it up a little bit more so i will see you guys at the end of the day or whenever the next time I give you an update. Good morning, it is now day four. Wow, that's kind of going by quick, but at the same time, it's like not at all. But again, we are wearing the t-shirts that they gave us. Um, I feel like really repetitive because I keep showing you guys the t-shirts that they gave us and then the same jewelry and then the same shorts, but that's what we have to wear. So uh, we have to wear this Go Greek pin when we go anywhere. And then once we get there, they exchange it for a name tag. And then I'm still wearing my TCU Panhellenic shirt, my black little roughly shorts. And then today I'm just wearing sandals and then I'm going to change into these Steve Madden shoes once I get there because I'm a little wimp sometimes and I don't like walking even in platform sandals for that long of time. But my voice, I feel like, is coming back. I have seven houses today. Oh yeah, I didn't tell you guys, but yesterday morning, we found out which houses we got back and I was very, very excited. I got all the ones that I wanted back. I don't know, I'm not saying that in like a pretentious or weird way. I'm just very blessed because I think that I did really connect really well with all the girls and that was not my case whatsoever last year and it's just very refreshing to find people that care about you and want to get to know you. But since I'm wearing the same exact thing, since it's still day two of round two, 
I thought I'd show you guys my roommate's outfit so you guys could get some more ideas, but can y'all do a fashion show down this like little hallway? Shorts or Zara? Wait, those are. Did you wear those yesterday? No. Okay. Shoes are Golden Goose. Okay, these are trendier, and I did not know what they were. Um, earrings are Francesca's. Okay. <laughs> so um, cute. Makeup is a variety. Okay, we can do that later. And, <laughs> <laughs> and my smile is by yours truly. Oh, stop. Oh, no. Right. Oh, okay, Clara, show yours. Do I say like the brand or just anything? Just, just anything. Brand. Alright, these are my awesome video shorts. Boom. <laughs> and I have a next shirt, and then I will have some cute shoes on in a second. So, my shorts. Um, Did you wear those? Yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. I love those. Thank you. Um, they're Beehive. I don't know what brands. Okay. Oh, I like Beehive. Those yeah. are cute. Beehive. Um, Pendulinic shirt. Oh, my earrings are uh, AP Monaco. So cute. And, um, she thrifted her shoes. <laughs> yeah, I thrifted my hey shoes. Hey guys, <laughs> welcome back to my channel. On today's show, I'm gonna be showing you my dress for um, this day, which I can't remember what it's called, uh, the day before prep. So <laughs> basically, I like don't have a voice left whatsoever, but it's the first day we get to wear our own clothes, so that's pretty monumental. I'm wearing this dress that I got from a boutique in Encinitas. I think it was, I don't know, it was really cute. I'll try to find it. So I'm wearing some, oh I guess I can show you my shoes in here. Sorry, my room's a mess too. Surprise wearing Steve Madden platform, except these ones are just a little bit higher. Shocker, I'm wearing the same exact jewelry, except not the one with the moon piece. It's just the little circle one, so always from Anna Luisa. Oh, so cute. I can't do a high-pitched voice, but there we go. There's one. There's two. There's three. I'm gonna head out. I'll keep you updated. We find out which houses we get back. We went from 10 sororities to six. Hopefully we have six. I don't know, but tonight we cut it down to two, so yeah. Okay, I actually feel so awful right now, like physically. Um, it used to be my voice was just becoming lost, but now it actually hurts really bad and I feel like I'm getting sick. And that's what happens when you talk very loudly all day. So I'm hanging on by a thread, but today is the last round. It is preference round. So last night we were able to choose two houses that we would like to go back to today. But I put down my two favorites and hopefully it'll work out. Honestly, this recruitment process for me this year has been so smooth. I've gotten all the houses that I love back. I've been feeling very blessed. So right now I physically don't feel great, but I'm feeling good about my houses and my selections. Obviously anything can happen. I'm not getting my hopes up, but so far it's been amazing But yeah last night I put my two houses that I want to go to today the two houses that I would really want to join But I'm wearing this blue dress. It's actually not completely zipped up yet So it's gonna be a little bit tighter, but it's from Lulu's. It's super cute It's really flattering too And then I'm just wearing sandals right now because I have to walk quite a ways But I'm gonna change into some really cute nude heels and yeah, that's the dress I feel like this one fits my personality best I did try on this one, it just was not really me. So, but here we go, I'm excited. My room is like progressively becoming dirtier as I get ready, but here we go. Hopefully it goes well, if not, I don't know, but it's gonna be a long day because we can have an event at the very beginning, at the very end, I just don't know how it's gonna play out. So, here we go. Okay, so welcome. It has been two days since I've last vlogged because we had preference night on Friday. Saturday we didn't have anything Greek life related and now it's Sunday, so it's bid day. And I'm so excited. I have two houses that I would absolutely love to be in. One, I'm gonna go to Starbucks really quick to upload my moving vlog. And then we're gonna go to lunch with some of my roommate's parents. And then we'll go to bid day. But bid day is super, super chaotic. I don't know if you've seen vlogs, but basically my voice is so gone. I'm so sorry. But basically you open up your envelope in a big room and you find out which sorority gave you a bid, which one wants you to be in their house. And then after that, it's just pure chaos. You run out. So I might have some few like iPhone clips or anything, but they literally say don't bring any belongings because it's gonna be chaotic. So you'll probably see some clips of me opening my bid and whatnot and then a recap afterwards. But yeah, as for bid day clips, I've never really seen anyone vlog it just because it's so crazy. But I'm bringing my phone. So this will be my honorary vlog camera for the day. So. I'm so excited. I just, like if you told me last year that this was going to be me, I would literally have laughed in your face. So, ah, I'm just so excited. Okay, bye-bye. I'll see you guys when I open up my envelope.
Yeah. <laughs>